Johnny here. Right now I'm in the ancient archaeological site of Persepolis and in this short film I'm going to talk about tourism in Iran. Iran, or Persia as it was once known, is a fascinating country in so many ways. Home to one of the world's first major civilizations with a history dating back thousands of years, it's a land of ancient culture boasting many exceptional sites, wild mountains and a world-class cuisine. It's also home to one of the most hospitable and friendly people you're ever likely to encounter. Never far from the world's headlines, for the inquisitive traveller, Iran is simply a must. The capital Tehran is most people's starting point, a busy city home to some 12 million people. But it's also a place you can explore markets and bazaars and ostentatious ornaments from the former royal household's crown jewels to the Shah's old residence, the Golestan Palace. Prior to the 1979 revolution, the Shah's family was one of the wealthiest in the Middle East, and this is reflected in this sumptuous home. But the real highlights of Iran lie elsewhere. In the off-the-beaten-track city of Yazd, you'll find the cityscape dotted with the ingenious wind tunnels, which could be described as the world's first air conditioning system, the ancient Zoroastrian Tower of Silence, the magnificent Friday Mosque, and a number of beautiful palaces and gardens. Iran has a long, rich history, with the Persian Empire at one point ruling 44% of the world's population, and as such, the country is home to some world-class archaeological sites. Built by Darius the Great back in the 6th century BC to showcase the wonders of the Achaemenid Empire, Persepolis is one of the great sites of antiquity left in the world. This ancient palace was also built to celebrate important events such as Navrus, the Persian New Year, when representatives from the four corners of the empire would congregate. This vast site merits at least a couple of hours to explore the ruins and in particular the exquisite bas-reliefs. And nearby you'll also find the incredible rock-carved tombs of Nachdi Rostam, where Darius the Great is buried, and Pasagade, where another great Persian leader, Cyrus the Great, was laid to rest. From here, your next stop is likely to be the beautiful garden city of Shiraz, a lovely university town known as the city of poets, wine, literature and flowers, Shiraz is a real delight. As well as the famous Nazar al Mulk Mosque with its famous coloured glass and a number of famous gardens, you can also spend time at important Sufi shrines and the tomb of the country's most revered poet, Hafez. It's said all Iranian homes have two books. One, of course, is the Quran, and the other contains the poetry of Hafez. This is a particularly wonderful site to visit in the late afternoon, when the place has a magical atmosphere as people gather to read poetry and celebrate the life of this revered poet. The jewel in the Persian crown is undoubtedly the beautiful city of Esfahan, home to some of the most stunning Islamic architecture anywhere in the world. The town's main square, the Nakshi Jahan, is the second biggest civic square anywhere in the world after Tiananmen Square in Beijing, the centre of which was once used as a polo field. Around the square you'll find the Lofatullah Mosque and Madrasa, the town's old royal palace, and the spectacular Shah i Majid Mosque, which has to be one of the greatest pieces of Islamic architecture you're ever likely to see. A little further afield, through one of the city's lively bazaars, you'll find the vast and exquisite Jamia Majid, the quaint Armenian quarter with its centerpiece church and some of its famous bridges. Isfahan is an incredibly beautiful city and warrants at least two days to fully explore. And Kashan, with yet another beautiful mosque and gardens, and Tabriz, famed for its UNESCO World Heritage Bazaar, there are plenty of other exciting towns and cities to explore. But it's not only about the cities and ancient sites. The scenery of Iran is an unexpected highlight. From beautiful picnic spots such as the Margan waterfalls, to fertile valleys in the Bavanat Mountains where you will encounter Qashqai nomads and see a way of life that has changed little over the centuries. In the Dena Mountains around Rasuj, you'll find an alpine scenery of snow-capped mountains, lakes and streams. 
and in the picturesque village of Abiane, you'll find an ancient village where cultural traditions run deep. It's well worth spending some time away from the better known cultural sites to explore this lesser known side of Iran. Iran really is a beautiful country. And finally, it's worth mentioning that the people of Iran are another real highlight, being welcoming and keen to engage in conversation about everything from politics to football. You're likely to be surrounded by school kids asking you questions, being offered tea and invited to share in picnics with the locals pretty much wherever you go. So forget about any preconceptions you may have about safety, security or the welcome you'll receive in Iran, as you're likely to find the people to be the friendliest and most hospitable you've found anywhere in the world. Iran is one of the most fascinating, historically rich and hospitable countries anywhere in the world. So don't let international geopolitics put you off coming here, because wherever you're from, you will be made to feel incredibly welcome.